Hi, I'm Nick with Forte Legato Coffee, and I'm here today to talk about coffee when you're traveling. Now, Ryan's been doing a series on very, very almost scientific down to the gram uh, or, or even decimal of a gram uh, in order to brew coffees. And we've seen, you know, things like the Kalita Wave, the Hario V60, uh, the AeroPress, and of course, we've got many more videos to come. Now, for me though, I travel a lot. And when I travel, that really limits what I can do. So typically what I prefer to do is I prefer to bring coffee with me that's already pre-ground. And the reason being is as much as I like traveling with a grinder, um, you get one of those Hario, Hario grinders and you're doing this forever and ever and ever. Uh, it's kind of tiring. It adds maybe a couple minutes to three minutes to, to the coffee processes by the time you're done. Um, it, it's not feasible. So for, for me, what I like to do is I like to try to keep it as simple as possible. Um, and so usually what that means is I will travel with one of these and some filters or I'll travel with an AeroPress. Um, that takes a lot of uh, the, the scientific and having a scale, having everything that you need. So this, we're not going to need today. We don't actually bring any of these with us, so we're not actually going to be pouring into this. We're going directly into the cup. We don't really get one of these very frequently when we're traveling, but usually a hotel will provide something. And so that's where we're going to start with. You go to a hotel, usually what will happen is you'll see a Keurig or a coffee maker of some sort. And then you'll usually get one of these cups right here, which will be wrapped up in plastic. So, and normally it'll be two of them. And I end up using two because I'm gonna be pouring water from one into another. So let's see, how do we break it down? Very simply, we've got this right here. We've got the Kalita Wave. We've got our filters. And usually when I'm traveling, if I'm going for three or four days, I only bring about 10 filters with me because I'm only gonna have maybe three cups a day. I might share with someone, but if I'm meeting somebody at a coffee shop, I'll usually purchase coffee there or I'll ask to use some filters and then purchase uh, a coffee via their water. Uh, and if I can use their boiling water, that's even better. So, but we're gonna end up doing this and the same premise, I still like to get the filter a little bit wet to wash out the paper flavor. But uh, we start with this, you know, maybe I'm gonna be brushing my teeth, getting ready or something. And while that's going on, I'm actually going to fill this up with water, pour it into the machine and know that I'm gonna get about 12 ounces. So we're still working with the 12 ounces of water premise. And so while that's heating up, and right now it looks like my water's at one, oh, 200 right now, which will never happen. I might get maybe 160 to 180 degrees out of whatever uh, machine I'm using. But that being said, I, at least it's hot water. Uh, we're not going for scientific. We're not going for the best extraction. We're just going to get coffee into our systems. That's all. Uh, I'm all about functional coffee. So we get this. And usually what will happen is I will just do a quick pour into the cup. I still warm up a paper cup, which really isn't worth it, but we get that there. Now, I usually go with like two tablespoons of coffee ground, um, but a lot of times I'll actually bring this with the AeroPress with me. And if I almost get to the top, you know, I can never get really a full scoop and level it off. I'm, I'm gonna get about 14 and a half grams. Now that's kind of crazy. Why would I say 14 and a half? Because I'm gonna use a scoop and a half, which will get me close to the 22, which is perfect for this 12 ounce cup. So pre-ground coffee, I don't have to think. I'm just gonna go open it up and Apparently we didn't have much coffee left here. Um, I'm using uh, one of our Costa Rican coffees from Alejo Castro. Um, um, I think this is his fully washed coffee, but typically um, we we only carry the red honey for, from him, uh, which is uh, one of our best coffees by by far. Um, if you want notes of like uh, like 
cola and, and rum, that's the coffee to go to. Um, this one is the fully washed. So this is like the stripped down, amazing version, very clean cup, very sweet um, that we're gonna be using today. So I'm, I've been sitting or getting ready, uh, watching the news, uh, reading the Wall Street Journal or whatever, and my, my water is finally done. So now that it's poured out, um, I'm just going to take my hot water and I'm going to simply pour it and I will do a semi bloom and it's already started. And the great thing about this is I've got 12 ounces of water here. I know I'm not gonna get any more in my, I'm not gonna worry about overflowing this cup of coffee, which uh, is also great because I've had many instances with an AeroPress uh, where water has gone everywhere or, <laughs> and, and then a huge mess, which I usually end up leaving a huge tip for uh, the, the person coming and cleaning the room because I've just made a huge mess. Um, and I actually, uh, I, I try to grind this uh, fairly coarse. I think I was in a rush and this is probably a grind for the V60, but um, the water has cooled. Um, and so it looks like it's uh, moving fairly fast. So it might be about a, a minute and 30 seconds to two minutes for this. It's gonna be slightly under extracted, but at the same time, I'm going to be getting a better cup of coffee than the swill that they were gonna give me in those little packets to begin with. So uh, that really covers how I travel with coffee. There's different ways to do it. Like if you're camping, um, you know, we've got people that have been very, very creative. Uh, uh, Pat Lynch, like he, he actually went camp camping uh, about a month ago and he used uh, pliers to grind the beans because he had whole bean and no grinder. So there's some ingenuity there. Um, CJ Murdoch, um, he was on a cruise ship and uh, for a jujitsu, uh, like I guess, I guess seminar. And he ended up using the, the napkin in order to put his coffee grounds into and brew his uh, coffee. So there are people that do things desperately in order to, uh, you know, get your cup, cup of coffee, namely Forte Legato coffee here. Uh, so just think about there are ways to get the coffee in your in your uh, system. Um, just look around and, and be like MacGyver. Um, but now that our coffee has fully brewed, I can go on and just take a quick sip. It's a lot hotter than I'd get in a hotel. Um, and actually not, not a bad extraction. So uh, that right there is the, I need to travel, I can't bring too much, and you know I just wanna have a really good cup of coffee on the road. That's how I do it. AeroPress is fairly simple, especially when you have this. So I don't think I need to show this, but if you do wanna see how it is to brew with the AeroPress, you can, you can take whatever Ryan does and make it very, very simple um, just by using this. Uh, no, no scale or anything, but you know, I don't, do you even use a scale? Yes. Yes. But okay. I don't yeah. need to. Anymore. Yeah. So it's, it's just, it's automatic. It, it's so it, it's really cool when you, when you have the AeroPress because it, it's also very simple. Um, so this, this spoon right here comes in handy just about for everything or scoop, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, that's it. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel as we've got a lot of videos, especially interviews with other people coming up in the near future, uh, along with some of our producers, um, some musicians, and, and then of course, uh, uh, some local chefs out here in Rock Hill. So we're looking forward to, to showcasing those, showcasing people who are good at what they do, hence Forte, and then showing how we're connected with them, and that's the legato piece. Uh, thanks a lot and have a great day.